I am not a mathematician, but I'm very interested. I know a little bit. Um, and I'm very interested in technology and AI, <clears throat> consciousness, all that stuff. And there's a new model out from China called DeepSync. Deep Sink, Deep Seek, sorry. <clears throat> and so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to test it. Let's test its reasoning capabilities and see how, what kind of response I get. So I looked up um, math equations that have never been solved. Okay. One of them was the Ryman hypothesis. I'm not sure if I'm saying that or not. All right, so there's the equation. Um, there's the variables, all right? Solve the equation to either prove or disprove the following equality. As n less than one or greater than one, I, like I said, I'm not a mathematician. All right, so I just copied this and pasted it in the deep sink right here. You can see it right here. <clears throat> and then, so deep sink seek is like OpenAI's um, O1 version of their large language model. It has reasoning capabilities. So 234 seconds. It's like four minutes, something like that. And it went through all of this stuff in here. And it goes through... <clears throat> okay, let me try to figure out this problem. And it goes through the equation and equality of positive integers. And then it ends it by asking, let me start by understanding each component of the inequality. And then it goes through the components. And then, right, it goes through some... Reasoning things, references, Gronwall's theorem, and then it it questions itself. Wait, actually, in Gronwall's Gronwall theorem, um, it asks about Gronwall's theorem. It, it questions itself. Let's check some small n first. And it goes with through all this stuff. All right. And then it checks some more um, vinegars. And it goes through all this stuff. And then it reflects on that. And then it questions itself again. But wait a minute. Let's write the inequality as this. And then it questions itself again. Maybe my asymptom asymptotic analysis and conflicting with the actual computations. Let's see. It goes back and looks through. It checks its own work. Right? And it keeps doing this. And then it's like, you know, all this stuff. And then, wait a minute. This contradicts my earlier thought of that since RHS is this. And then keeps going through here so you can see it's reasoning through this stuff it's testing this stuff no that doesn't work okay what let me go back and think about this again let me check some references all right and it does this it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on all right and it keeps going and it keeps going and it keeps going and then And then it's like, however, to be thorough, let's check if there's any small n where the inequality might not hold. We checked up to n, 12, 24, 60, 120, blah, 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 and they were all satisfied the inequality. The closest was n, 12, or whatever that is. So as n increases, the gap between seems to be increasing, not decreasing. Therefore, it's likely that the inequality holds for all n 
greater or less than 1. <clears throat> Therefore, based on the asymptotic analysis and numerical checks, the inequality holds for all positive integers, blah, blah, 1. Final answer, the inequality holds for, thus the solution is box true. So, it be, I, I don't know, because I'm not a mathematician, um, if this actually is, all of this is correct, and if it's solved. Uh, if you're a mathematician and you're watching this, I get, I'll copy it and paste it into a Google Drive, Google Docs, and I will send it to you so you can check this stuff, but... This is pretty freaking crazy, if this is true. Let me know what you think.